Hi, today I'm going to show you some signs for saying the Pledge of Allegiance. First, I'm going to do it at kind of a regular speed, then I'll teach you the signs and explain what they mean. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of big words in the pledge, and then we'll go through it slowly for practicing. Okay, ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now I'll teach you all those signs. So it starts out with I, just point to yourself for I, I pledge, and pledge is a word that means the same thing as promise. So we point to, it's like you say something, this is the sign for say, and then you kind of put it in a, in a jar with a lid on it, because you're really going to keep that promise. So I pledge, then it says allegiance, which is a very big word that basically means support. So you probably know the sign help, which is like this. So you help somebody with something they need to do. But, and support is kind of like that. It means you're supporting, you're standing behind something and you feel strongly about it. So it's kind of a fist under your other fist. And that's another, uh, allegiance is another word that means support. So I pledge allegiance to the flag. And flag is like this, like your arm is a flagpole with a flag on top of it. And your other arm can just be the ground down there. To the flag, you can make it blow in the breeze of the United States of America. And for that, we make all your fingers go apart like that, and you kind of put them together like that with just the end parts going, and go in kind of a circle. And that's kind of a symbol for all the different people in the United States of America kind of being together and being one country all together, all mixed together. Then it says, to the republic for which it stands. The republic is a big word that means a country where people vote for their government. And so our country, we vote for a government and we're just going to do the sign for country for the Republic. So to the Republic for which it stands, and you kind of point to your hand and push it forward. This is a sign for symbol that for when it says for which it stands, that's kind of a complicated way of saying that the flag is a symbol of the United States of America. So it's just one, it's, it's, it sort of means all the people in our whole country. So when we say for which it stands, we mean it's a symbol. So to the Republic for which it stands. And then it describes our country. It says one nation. So we do the number one and then nation like this, because uh, nation is another word for country. There's also another sign like this, which is an N going down. But if we do the same sign, that's a little bit less to remember. So we can say one nation. Then it says under God, with our hand coming down like this. That's the sign for God. Then there's a really big word, indivisible. And indivisible, it sounds like the word invisible, like you can't see it. But there's an extra D in it, and, it's, uh, and the extra V. It's a little bit different. So indivisible means that you can't separate us. You can't divide us up. So to show that, we make our fingers like this. We're going to hook them together to make a chain, sort of like that, and then go around in a circle to show all the people. We're all connected. This is a way of showing connections. So indivisible means we're all connected in our country. Indivisible with liberty. And liberty is another word for freedom. So this letter F, if you cross your hands like this and open them, that means to be free or freedom. So we can use that for liberty. With liberty, and sort of like you were held a prisoner or a slave in your chains, and then you got free. So with liberty and justice for all. And justice is sort of a complicated idea, but one way of thinking about it is saying that, that we're all equal. This is the sign for equal or fair. And, it, and we do it in a circle to show all the people that we try to have 
uh, fairness for all the people in our country, like that. And that's the part for justice for all. And it has to do with how our system tries to be. We try to be fair to everybody. So now let's do that all together, but we'll go through it slowly. And then later, later, if you're really fast at it, you can do the one at the beginning of the video. At the start, that one's faster. So we start out, I pledge, so that's the promise. I pledge allegiance. Remember, allegiance means support, like this. Allegiance to the flag, and there's our flag on the flagpole, of the United States of America. And that shows us all mixed together. And to the republic, so remember that's our country, and the republic is a kind of country we vote, for which it stands, and that means that's the symbol, the flag is the symbol of our country. One nation, remember our nation sign, under God, coming down like that, indivisible, so we're all connected like that, with liberty, meaning we're free, we can make free choices in our country, with liberty and justice for all. So that's fairness for everybody. And that's the goal we try to have in our country is that everything is fair for everybody and everybody is free. All right. Thanks for paying attention. That was there's some complicated words in the Pledge of Allegiance, so you might need to practice it a little bit. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.